How is it going, everybody? It's Greg Horton. Hey, I just want to talk to you about a little bit of stuff that's going on right now. Um, in it to win it is still going on. You got pre registration still going on. Okay, so December 25th is the last day, it is on Christmas Day. So you guys should not be like alarmed to say, like, Oh my goodness, I couldn't get it. <clears throat> it is still there. So it's in it to win it 2018 online personal training app based instructional videos for you guys to understand how to do the workouts. So it's on there. Take advantage of it, okay, you guys. So Enough of talking about that. So just get on my website, check it out, okay? So last night, my girlfriend and I went to go watch Star Wars The Last Jedi. Man, I was so pumped up. It was awesome. There's a lot of stuff that went on in it. You could tell it's a Disney film. Yes, it's, it's totally Disney. But you can tell, but I, I still loved it. Just, just the fact that it was Star Wars, okay, you guys? There's a couple of scenes in it that you know i'm not trying to be a spoiler or anything like that but i know that one scene did definitely look like et and it and it did so i told my girlfriend i was like how oh, it looked like et and she, and she just like oh, i didn't recognize it but it's, it totally did so it, it, it's it's a great movie just besides i mean it is it's a totally it's totally disney okay so not being a spoiler or anything like that, but you guys have to check it out, okay? But um, I know that a couple of times in the movie, it, it, it is hidden stuff in there. Of course, Disney is all about finding hidden stuff. So it, it, it put in like a lot of little tricks of what's going on to the next movie. So there's one scene in there that I did recognize. And I'm not going to say what scene it was or where it was at towards the movie or the end. But definitely, yes, it, it's a catch to it. And so it's a split second. You got to recognize it. But yes, it, there's more Star Wars movies to be made. So super excited. And of course, you can tell that I have my Rebel outfit on. Yes, got to love it. There it is. Casey in the camera. Yes. <laughs> so yes, I am a big Star Wars fanatic. But anyways. So I did put on um, you guys. Hopefully, you guys subscribe to me. Um, just click on the box, subscribe. I will make my videos and get a lot out there to you guys. A lot of content. So just talking about uh, you know what's going on in 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 sports world. You know me, my life, fitness. Um, um, it's just a lot of things. A lot of topics that we could talk about. Um, it's this is basically just me giving everything to you guys. So I. This is me, what I'm all about, about fitness and um, cooking. So I do love to cook. I love to cook a lot. And so tonight I'm going to talk a little, little bit about what I cooked tonight. So what I cooked was, is, um, it's a goulash. So basically it's what, chicken breast, couscous. If you guys don't know what it is, it's, um, I'll show you in a second what it is. So it's, it's um, diced chicken breast, couscous, red beans, garlic bell peppers and vegetable broth and so what you do you start off with your um your couscous you put it to the side get your diced chicken breast put it in in a pan doesn't matter what size pan it is how much you want to make and i'll give you the quantities of it in a second what you need to eat so you put your diced chicken breast inside you put coconut oil which i do cook i do coconut oil a lot of people like to use olive oil you can use coconut oil so I use coconut oil inside of it. So what you do next, you have another pan. You put your minced garlic inside. So you can chop up your garlic or also you can buy it in minced, minced form. So which is fine. Get your bell pepper. Chop it up also. Stick it into that little pan with it. Coconut oil. Turn it on half high. If you have an electrical stove or gas stove, put it on, on, on medium. Okay. So when you start cooking that, make sure that your chicken breast is brown. So what you do, you get half a cup of water, pour it inside of your chicken breast. You get your sautéed vegetables, which you, which is your uh, your garlic, your bell peppers, and your red beans. Also put your red beans in there. I'm sorry if I missed that. Put your red beans inside of it. Pour it inside to your chicken breast. Now, here comes with the um, vegetable broth. So you put your vegetable broth inside of the chicken breast with the couscous, with, I mean with the... Um, garlic the bell peppers 
and the red beans, okay? So you put it inside there, get it boiling, get it hot and boiling. So what you do then, you put your couscous inside. So then you put your ve vegetable broth inside, let it boil, and it's, it's, it starts to grow. It's so good. So the couscous starts to form. Once it gets a little thick, you turn your, um, your burner to low, and then you have a perfect dish. It's a goulash for me. I've been eating that since 2002, and I, I never have had a better dish. So well, this is what I'm gonna show you. Okay, so this is your couscous right here. Okay, so it's it's um the brands on there. I'm not gonna say the brand or anything because I don't know how YouTube is with the brand. So this is the couscous that that I use. Okay, so it's right there. So I'll come back over here and I get my vegan protein broth, which is that's right here. Okay, so it's really a good source of protein. Ha also has nine grams of plant-based protein in it okay so it, it's perfect for you so here comes the seasoning so you have to season your food okay so a lot of people understand you know they, they're like well you know I don't want to put in too much seasoning because of the sodium intake well you guys the sodium intake is based on what you eat throughout the day so if your sodium is high during the day yes definitely don't eat anything high that's it's high sodium intake during the nighttime so this is this is the sodium that I put into it. Now it's it's Cajun seasoning. That's all you gotta put into it. It's Cajun seasoning, okay? So don't even have to put anything else in it. So here's the Cajun seasoning right here. It's by Adams. It's a good brand that I like to um, use into a lot of my stuff, which I turned my awesome girlfriend into it because we use burgers, fries, and more, which is for everything. You can put it on like omelets. Or the ground turkey meat that you cook turkey burgers or anything like that and so here it is right here I'm gonna show you so there it is right there so this is called burgers fries and more it is perfect for anything that you're cooking with um, like your, um, any omelets or anything anything that you cook that you want some good, good kick to it some seasoning burger fries and more is perfect so that's about it of my food intake I will put it on my website if you look on the thumbnail that I put on, it's www.hortonphenomfitness.com. It'll be on there in Phenom Grub. So I will put it on there, the food that I did. It's 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 phenomenal. It's it's the best, best. I, I can promise you that, okay, you guys? So subscribe to Phenom Vibes. Click on subscribe to me. You guys, i um, going to be talking to a lot of topics every time. This is the deal. I may do another video tomorrow, a live video. So be be tuned to that. And I'll post it on Twitter, Facebook, do a live video on Facebook and say, hey, you know, guys, I'm about to come on YouTube. Check me out. You know, subscribe to Phenom Vibes. Okay. So I wish you guys would just click on there, put your notifications on, let them know that I am coming on. Okay. So I will click on and be live all the time. All right, you guys. It is fun talking to you. Also, it is very cold in Dallas, Texas right now. I just want to let you know that. It's been raining and cold. The fireplace is boiling, so it's awesome. So you guys stay warm. I will talk to you tomorrow, okay?